Shoreline state parks and beaches have remained open with capacity limits and today our governor said that will still be the case for Memorial Day weekend. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Elliot Polikoff has more on what that means. For many Connecticut residents, Memorial Day weekend means going to the beach. I, I personally think that it's a great idea. You gotta have a good time, you gotta have fun. But if you want to head to the shore next weekend, there are some guidelines that Governor Ned Lamont has put in place. Groups bigger than five people, not happening. Space between beach blankets, at least 15 feet. It's going to be like you got to claim your spot and you got to stay there because I know there's going to be a lot of people trying to do the exact same things. Will this year's Memorial Day beach experience be a little bit different than previous years? Sure. But even with social distancing, the chance to be outside is too good to pass up for a lot of Nutmeg Day residents. Anything to escape the monotony of being quarantined. There's really not a whole lot to do these days, so <laughs> most people probably want to get back to a sense of normalcy by coming to the beach. At the same time, there's no denying that we're living in a new normal. The longer we follow the rules, the shorter that we're going to be waiting for this all be over. I think as long as you stay and use common sense and stay apart, I think you're, you'll be fine. Fine enough to pencil in two beach weekends in a row? Yeah, most likely. <laughs> if, the, if the weather's good enough, we'll at least come and scope it out. And if people are, you know, it's not too packed, we'll find our own little corner like we did today. And I don't know that I will be here on, on Memorial Day weekend. It's nice to be here tonight because it's not so crowded. I'm trying to avoid some crowds. As long as families celebrate on their own, there's a good chance of that happening. Ellie Polikoff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.